Now that we have Unify, we can adjust our type checker to use it. Uh, in the simple case of uh, like a number expression that has a number type, then we didn't have any equal before, so there's no changes to deal with unification. We just leave it alone and return the type numt. The first place where we had an equal, uh, effectively, it was built into type case, but it was effectively an equal, is in plus e, where we type check the left and the right, and we want to make sure that those are number types. So instead of using equal or type case to compare them to numt now, we use unify to say that the type of L needs to be the same as numt, and the type of R needs to be the same as numt. And maybe Unify is able to completely and immediately check that and either succeed or raise an error, or maybe it just installs some, some type variable uh, uh, assignments uh, for use in further unifications. In either case, we, uh, we pass along the L and R so that Unify can use them if it wants to uh, complain. If it doesn't complain, then everything is good so far, and so the type of the plus expression is numt. Uh, IDs and lambs. They did not have any uses of equal before, so they're not really changed either. Uh, ID still just gets the type from the environment. Lamb still constructs an arrow T using the argument type that's declared and the result of type checking the body. Application did have an equivalence in it. So here we have a function expression and an argument expression. And we used to get the type of the function expression and make sure that it's an arrow T using a type case. We can't do that anymore. We have to call unify. Um, and remember that our strategy for calling unify is we have to say this is equal to something. But we want to say this is equal to some arrow type. So we have to make up an arrow type to say that, this, uh, that it matches. And to do that, we have an argument to use for the arrow type, but we don't have a result. So we just make one up as a new type variable. So here, result type is a fresh type variable. Uh, it was t2 in our slides before. t2 is a variable we made up to stand for the result type, and that way we can uh, construct an arrow t uh, where result type is a, the result type, and the argument type is the argument type of that arrow t, and now we have two types that should be the same, so we can unify them using unify. And as long as unify doesn't complain, then this application will produce uh, that result type. So the key uh, trick here is to make up a type variable so that we construct two types that we can compare using unify, uh, and that type variable is useful as the result of the application.